Once we heard about the rumor of the possibility that the Ravens were interested in Chase Young, it had a lot of our minds running wild, wilder than they already run on a normal basis. Uh, but we start thinking about the possibilities of Chase Young in this defense, in this Baltimore Ravens defense, what he could add, what he could bring, and how special this Baltimore Ravens defense could be. But in order to get something that you really want, you may have to give up something that you really don't want to. Now, y'all know me. Me, if it's up to me, we getting everybody, but we keeping everybody at the same time. But it can't always be that way. So sometimes you got to really think like a GM. But I wasn't built to do that in this video alone. So I had to bring on a very, very special guest to help me do just that. Think like a GM. Ain't you no know just what I mean. What I mean. Team Keep It Clean, a very, very special guest in the building today. Uh, my guy, Beezy, who I actually met about uh, two, three years ago uh, at the one of the Lamar Jackson fun days. So before we get into it, because we were having a conversation yesterday, but before we get into what we was talking about, introduce yourself to everybody, let them know where they can find you at and, and what you're working on too. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Beezy from Extreme Sports Star 305. Hey, you can find me on YouTube at Extreme Sports Star 305. You can find me on IG at Streams Post Talk Live 305, on Facebook at Streams Post Talk 305, and on Twitter, Streams Post 305. Hey, so, well, I mean, Streams Post Talk, that means everything. That means football, basketball, baseball, boxing, all platform sports. Okay, appreciate that. And, and I leave the link to everything down below in the description so y'all can follow him, subscribe to the channel, follow on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Now, um, yesterday, you yeah, hit me up. And yes. you asked me uh, how I was feeling about the, that rumor that was going around that the Ravens were interested in Chase Young. Correct. And I, and, and I told you, like, yeah, I was cool with it, but um, I just I, I wouldn't want them to trade Patrick Queen as part of a package. Uh, if it was something else, like a draft pick or whatever, mm -hmm. cool, but Patrick Queen, I was like, no. But then you, you stopped me. You said, wait a minute. You said, you need to think like a GM. Right. <laughs> right so you think of it this year or you think a long term because mm -hmm. they both have to get paid mm -hmm. so we gave Roquan 100 million yeah. I'm on the highest paid right now mm -hmm. so before we gave Roquan once he gave Roquan 100 million Pat PQ said he was about to hold out because he mm -hmm. realized he's not going to get the 100 million what he wanted mm -hmm. so we ain't paying two linebackers 100 million right. and we lacking on pass rush that's true. That's true. You make some good points with that one. But um, so what what would you give up for Chase Young? And and with Chase Young now, you know about the injuries and whatnot, especially right. in the past Chase couple of years. Right. right. So what, what would you be willing to give up for Chase Young? Woo, for Chase Young. Now you can give up a potential and a future draft pick. I'll say a, a fourth or a third. Hmm, okay. The reason I would say a, a third, because we knowing us, we always have a lot of uh multiple third round picks mm -hmm. as usual so and pq i know i mentioned pq yesterday to you yeah. i love pq now because he fits good like a good combination with mm -hmm. roquan but is he gonna be that long term mm. so we probably want to sign him probably like a one or two year he wants a long-term deal and yeah. it took him his third year to get going and the nfl that's kind of late because once we trade with roquan smith now you want a long term I don't know about that. So now yeah. we lacking on pass rush and browser, he's hurt. We drafted. Yeah, he yeah he's hurt. You see? <laughs> uh he's hurt. And you also have uh our other pass rusher here that we had last year. He's not here no more. Justin Houston, we talked about that yesterday. He's up in age. So if we bring him back, it's like it's not gonna be that much consistent and he's gonna need a lot of breaks because he's tired. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean yeah, with Justin Houston, uh, yeah, that's the exact same thing I said. I just felt like uh, he just got exhausted as the season went on. It felt like he got exhausted. And he wouldn't be an every-down linebacker or anything like that, but still, um, you you want somebody. Now, he, he is a veteran that knows his stuff, that been around right. the block and whatnot. Um, but yeah, oh, for sure. He's young legs. We got Ojabo, and mm -hmm. uh, and we got uh, Oway. Odafe Oway. Mm -hmm. Odafe Oway. But Odafe Way, I'm being honest, he haven't given up to his full potential of yet as he been as so far as he's been here. 
Yeah, not yet. I'm He's saying to be in double teams, but sometimes you're not. You have to get off. Mm. Now, Ojabo got a pass because he'd been hurt. But if he hadn't got hurt, he would have been a first-round pick. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so for sure. we was like, we we like our young legs, but what do we know for sure? Yeah. Now, now, um, we, yeah, there's a lot of unknown right now with the Ravens right. when it comes to the, the pass rush position. But with Chase Young, because he had his first year where he got seven and a half sacks, but do you feel like there's still a lot of unknown with Chase Young too? Yes, there's a lot of unknown, but we with seven and a half sacks here, and Owe o- been here, what, two years? Well, I'm sorry, about almost by his third year now. Three, yeah, three. Three years now. Three. So he didn't have that either in two years. And, and Chase Young had it in one year. Mm. And so we know what he can do if he just stay healthy. Yeah. But now this year, Chase Young can't afford to get injured because he wants that bag too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we rather pay somebody, at least one person who who can get to the quarterback instead of having two, three potentials. Mm. And Ojabo, we, he don't have to get paid anytime soon, so he's he's all right. Mm-hmm. Now away, like I said, away he's on a this is a make it a break year for him. All right, it is. Cause they uh they got to decide on Odafe yeah, away. Yeah, if you want to do a fifth year option or not. Mm-hmm. So if he's on, and we just talked about ju- um not Justin Houston, uh Browns is just getting off of injury. Yeah. So it's like we if he can stay healthy and he can he has the speed to get around there, he has the potential and he can get around there here. That it would be a huge help. Mm-hmm. Now people, I love him, but if he did good this year. That's great. He gonna get a higher thing for next year, or he or he may hold out and say, "I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do a, a one year, two year deal." He may want a four year. He want a long year. So it all depends. He can stay, or we can make that trade during week six or week seven for the deadline. You know that's how, you know us Ravens fans. We we like to wait till the last deadline. <laughs> 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 you ain't lying, man. But um, well, th- just let's focus on PQ for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, yeah, it's Roquan and PQ, uh, and I'm excited for for what they can do because last year we we saw uh, PQ had been playing a lot better than he had, right. and and, and, he, and I think with PQ, it's not even that he played bad in previous years. I feel like it was just a lack of consistency, um, because there will be some nice moments with PQ, and then there right. will be some rough ones. Um, and that can be said really about any player, but PQ really started uh, being more consistent last year. And then when Roquan came on, it helped him be even more consistent. And like we talked about yesterday, you mentioned how PQ is just he's, he's a good fit for what the Ravens are doing right. on defense because he is. Um, and he really starting to find his footing. Um, so with PQ playing for the money, too, which is a big thing. And that could mm-hmm. be said about Chase Young as well this year since they go, both got drafted the same year. But they're going to be playing for that bread, and both of their fifth-year options got declined. So they can actually use that as an extra fuel for motivation and be like, all right, my fifth-year option got declined. I can get paid even sooner. So it can work out for both of them. But with PQ, um, I I would love for the Ravens to keep him. But when we talked yesterday, you brought up a point about somebody who the Ravens drafted, who you Mm -hmm. feel could be a possible replacement if they do trade Patrick Queen. That being Trent Simpson. So how you how you feeling about that? I saw I felt that because Trent from Clemson, he had the speed just like PQ. Now, when we, like I said, we uh, can bring back PQ. When we had PQ, his first year, uh, he was at middle linebackers when we drafted him at, but mm-hmm. he was missing a lot of he was missing a lot of reads and a lot of tackles. He wasn't wrapping up. He was just doing a lot of arm tackling for the, like mm-hmm. the first two years. Mm-hmm. So and his dad said here before the third season, he said, Oh, this is gonna be his season. He always take off in the third season. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with him in college, but you're in the NFL. Is it now? What have you done for me lately? So he's been doing good here by the time this in the second season and the beginning of the third season. So he has a lot of tackles. But once we brought broke um, once we brought um Roke on in, it just took him and helped him out a lot much better. He moved on the right side and much, much better. So and them two fit good together. But yeah, they do. we can't pay two guys for, for that. But when we signed Trent from Clemson, he has a speed, like I say, and uh, he had a, a fast, uh, a fast run. And then, like I said, in Madden, he sees ninety-one speed for the man twenty-four coming up. Those who <laughs> know, ninety-one speed. So and PQ is a ninety speed. So he has the speed. So if Rokon can teach him and get him up to here, see, we had nobody really to teach PQ like that. So now Rokon is already there. If he can get him up to his level here and we have a pass rush, oh, man, he's still flying around the ball. Mm. He's still mm. flying around the ball. So 
that that'll be exact perfect what we need. And most likely you see our, D, our DC now, we not playing that much man as we usually last year. We in a lot, a lot of zone. So we keep mm. everything in front of you now. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good point about um Patrick Queen, uh, especially yeah. from coming into his uh coming into his rookie season. Um he right. just had to come in and be the guy. Uh he didn't really have uh that veteran around like that, like that. Uh, I yeah, mean, a little bit here and there, but gross. he he had a lot of responsibility thrown on him from jump, and he's super young, super yeah, super, he's super very young, young guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I mean, it, it that plays in his favor. But um, yeah, he had a lot of responsibility thrown on him from jump. Uh, do you think? Because take PQ out of the equation. Okay. Do you have any other players? Because you you talked about that you would do like a third or fourth round pick for Chase Young. Um, yeah. But are there any other players that you would consider uh, including in a possible trade for Chase Young? Besides PQ? Besides PQ. Um, if we want to do that, we don't have that much, I say, assets. I know we're young on defense to do that. So mm -hmm. they could probably want another one here. If if we talk about off, we have to see what the Washington needs. But mm -hmm. as an offense, Washington most likely they needs here probably a, a tackle, a tight end. You know, uh, maybe my, if they need some on defense here, you might need to probably, re probably replace him with another one here. But uh, I might have to go with no offense, but a tight end, they don't have a tight end like that. So mm. would you would, – we have three. <laughs> yeah, we got three, yeah. We have three. Now, remember, we don't, now I see we had the same offense as last year with, with Roman. We don't have that off, option last year with Roman, the offense. So we have like – well, Roman offense, like three, three different tight ends here. And recall the motion, but it's a different offense though. So for those who Ravens fans who see the press conference yesterday with Mark Andrews, he said he's learning now. It's a new offense for him now. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're gonna have we have some tight ends on the full on the field, like how we get in Georgia, probably two, but I don't think three. Oh, yeah. So we had a tight end that was injured last year, like, like I like likely, but you know, it's it's part of risk that you have to make. <laughs> oh. So you know, it's a gamble. I do like like it a lot. Oh, so you would you would throw likely in a trade for Chase yeah. Young? On um, uh, for, for Chase Young for uh for a pass rusher that he he wants to get paid to for because we still have um we still have, what's the name um Charlie Cola? Oh yeah, yeah. They, still have him. they actually like him. They actually like him. So they actually like him. But so you got to give him something to give some. So mm. they want two for one. Oh man, so you give two for one. So they want to play <laughs> and a draft pick. Oh, that would be something right there, man. Because um. Likely he was solid last year. He He's was solid, solid last year. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, the the potential is definitely there. Um, especially with him uh, having played wide receiver before him having that experience, him being able to line up at, at a lot of different places. Um, but just being a super athletic tight end. Um, I felt with Isaiah likely last year. Uh he did definitely have some rookie moments, some some moments where he he looked and felt like he was a bit a bit out of place. Um, but then he did have his moments where he was really he came on strong and he made some nice plays. Um, so I, I'm, I'm excited to see Isaiah likely in year two. Um, yeah. But, man, you're you, you a tough GM, man. Like you say. You're, 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 <laughs> uh, it's a different office now. So if a different office now, they uh -huh. say, Lamar, we take you back to Louisville. Mm -hmm. So if you have three receivers or four receivers and you spread it out and you have a tight end here, like mm -hmm. you're not getting on the field that much as he used to in Greg Roman's offense. Yeah. So if you only get in over every now and then, and then now we switch up to if it's like third or four, now we're going to double tight. Now you're going to double type, then you can add caller, then you add, then you add Mark Andrews here. So that helps out. So now remember in the contract of um Odell, if you get a thousand yards, he he get a raise right there with a thousand yards. Yeah, if, if you if you if you're leading yours, yeah, he get that. Yeah, he get a thousand yards. Zay Flowers. They love Zay Flowers. Right now, as as me, I know you know he's doing he's doing best in camp right now. So <laughs> he's doing his thing. Now Rashad Bateman, he's on the people list, he's not on the list, he's not sure where he goes. So we got what three, four, about four first round receivers in there. So at least you know they're gonna give the receivers a, a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So as far as tight ends, you got three, so they might you know. So you gotta give up something to give. Mm. Man, that's tough right there, man. But <laughs> it's that's, tough. It is. That's why I'm not a GM. That's why I'm, I'm not. My, that's that's why I ain't got that job title. I wouldn't even put in the application to do it, man. Like the third, it's, yeah. So it's like some people gonna be happy, so people not. You can't please everybody, but you have to do the best for the team. Mm. That's real right there too, man. Mm. So Eric DeCosta, I don't know if you're watching, but uh, 
I'm sure you done ran through this whole list of players and possible things. If you are really interested in Chase Young like that. Um, but the, now if, if the Ravens were to land a Chase Young, uh, yeah. do you feel like that would uh, be enough and really solidify their defensive pass rush moving forward? Especially when we got to contend with the pass rushes just in the AFC North alone. Because right now the Ravens, with all the unknown that they have at pass rush, they probably looking like the bottom unit, even though it's a lot of unknown. Because when, right. like we talked about yesterday, uh, you brought up Zadarius Smith, who I forgot about. I completely <laughs> forgot about Zadarius Smith. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, Miles Garrett, who's a beast by himself. But then mm -hmm. they got Zadarius Smith, too. It's like, oh, man. Yeah, that's a big upgrade from Clowney to, to Zadarius Smith. It's yeah. a big upgrade. Yeah. yeah. And then Clowney's you got uh, assistant. Yeah, so he's still a free agent right now. Let you know right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so Pittsburgh still got T.J. Watt. And he just signed mm -hmm. the other guy. So, yeah, Alex like, Highsmith, yeah. Yeah, Alex Highsmith, and so and, and if, if Pittsburgh can run for Chase Young, I don't want that to happen. His <laughs> pass rush, you don't want, want that to happen. So I was like, in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. they got Sam Hubbard and um Trey Hendrickson. Yeah, they got Trey, yeah, Trey Hendrickson. And Trey Hendrickson, he get off the ball. He's very underrated. Uh, mm -hmm. He's very underrated. So with with the division that we need here, with all these top quarterbacks, Deshaun Watson, <laughs> Deshaun Watson, and, from, and I know Joe we got Burrow. Lamar, yeah. Joe Burrow. Kenny Pickett here, like they all they like to pass the ball, right? So they're gonna be a four wide, five wide. We need to get to the quarterback, and majority of the time we get to the quarterback is when we blitz. Mm. So ah, we yeah, yeah. So if we can get there without blitzing, yes, that's, that's great. That's a good point. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Yeah, that would go that's a real true. long way. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. But I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I, I really do feel like if this trade does mm -hmm. go down if it does happen for whatever the compensation is i i feel like this would happen around the time a little bit after they have their joint practices with the washington commanders um i, I think that's in right August. i think i forgot exactly when it is though but i think that's when it would be because eric DeCosta the game. right oh okay so yeah eric DeCosta mm -hmm. can talk to their gm in person and whatnot see chase young up close and they could really get an even better feel from they could see how he practices uh, they can see yeah. his his work ethic and whatnot. They can see all of that stuff right then and there. So we'll see how it goes down, well, if it even goes down. Quick question. What do yeah. you think about when you take out MPG, um, MPJ to Juice Man, Marcus, uh, Marcus Peters, mm. and you, you you bring in Rock? Oh. Hmm. Um, you realize he, he just sounded the Raiders. Like, ah, you think he's going to come back, and then you realize he's not. Everybody, he's gone. Yeah. Everybody, so he... uh. Marcus Peters is obviously the playmaking cornerback. Rocky Cena is not known uh, to be a playmaker like that. Um, but I feel like it's almost like a almost a, a lesser version of Marlon Humphrey to where it's a physical corner that will um, do, every can, do everything that they can to make sure that you don't catch the ball. They're not even necessarily going for interceptions like that or getting interceptions like that, but they're going to make sure they do everything that you can to not catch the ball. So two physical corners on the outside. Um, but yeah. I'm I'm hoping that uh like I know what Marlon Humphrey like he he gonna make some plays for sure like whether it's a forced fumble they get an interception every now and then Marlon Humphrey obviously ain't no ball hawk like that yeah, um, but, I, but yeah I'm hoping that uh I guess the, the the playmaking will come from Kyle Hamilton being a little bit strong I mean being a little bit smart in the second Marcus year Williams with our picks. yeah Marcus Marcus yeah. Williams uh, having a full healthy season because he uh yeah. he was he was on his way last year then he got yeah, hurt he was. Um, but yeah, Kyle Hamilton would even more experience would be better. Uh, and whoever's gonna be that slot corner, whether it's a mix of Kyle Hamilton or somebody else. Um, they just signed a guy from Pittsburgh, they just swapped out. Oh, yeah, Arthur Arthur Mallette. Yeah, right. they did just sign him too. So yeah, we're gonna see. But as far as Rocky is seen by himself, um I, I'm hoping that he's like a uh he has that that Corey Graham impact, that the, the mm -hmm. impact that Corey Graham had for the Ravens back when they signed him. Uh, in that 2012 season, that Super Bowl season. And it was an underrated guy. It was a guy that a lot of people were like, oh, okay, well, uh, we'll see. And I feel like <laughs> that a lot of people like that with Rocky Singh. Um, but yeah. Corey Graham was a pleasant surprise throughout the season. And, of course, obviously in that playoff run, uh, we all remember that Broncos game where he caught the picks. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that could be what, what Rocky Singh is for the Ravens. Yeah. I think Rocky Singh is more very physical. Like, he get, he get under you, he'll jam you up and get very physical. Mm -hmm. Marcus Peters, I don't think he's not a man to man corner. He's more of a zone corner here. Right. He's not going to jam you. If he jam you, that's that's the nah. his weak his weak side here. But he can read, call a play out from the jump ahead of time. He's very smart in the meetings here. 
he can tell you, oh, I'm going to get a pick there. I'm going to get that pick there. He'll jump it. But when he's in one-on-one, the man-to-man, that's, that's not his strength here. Mm-hmm. But he's a very good zone corner, but he's just not that physical. And I think he got his, his issues when he got issues with John Harbaugh. When John mm-hmm. Harbaugh was going fourth down and he didn't like it, he's going for it at the end of the day. It, it's, it's Harbaugh's call, so. Yeah, yeah it so. is. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to see how this thing goes. We got Marcus Williams back there. He's a leader, so I think he'll help everybody yeah. outside. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Marcus Williams, he he, he was like that, man. That was a, I, I loved that signing last year, and he was worth every yeah, single yeah. dollar, and uh, he, he, he was doing his thing. So – Hopefully this year, man, really just for Marcus Williams and just for everybody, really. Um, not even just the Ravens, but across the NFL. I know they done lost a lot of people to injury already, but hopefully from this point forward, everybody can just stay healthy. I know that's like pretty much asking for the impossible because football is a physical sport. Um, but hopefully they can stay healthy, man, mm-hmm. so we can get the best NFL season they possibly can get. Uh, but then when you think about the Ravens, like um, I just really hope that everybody stays healthy on this. So we don't have any like – any doubt so we don't have to wonder like oh man what could have been if they stayed healthy because that's what it's been for these past couple of years because right. we just we haven't known we have yeah it's, it's been uh mm-hmm. just wondering like hey what what, what could it have been if this person would have been there that person would have been there they all would have still remained healthy but hopefully this year we will have that we'll have that uh that closure and hopefully the season can close out with a super bowl so we'll see how it goes oh, Oh, yeah. Before we get out of here again, let everybody know uh, where they can find you at. at X, on YouTube at Extreme Sports Talk 305. That's on YouTube, on IG, Extreme Sports Talk Live 305. And on Facebook here also, it's Extreme Sports Talk 305 and Twitter, Extreme Sports Talk 305. Of all sports here, man. I appreciate you, BZ, for coming it. through. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I will uh, leave all the links to all his stuff down below in the description. So, Team Keep It, link, team keep it Clean, y'all can check it out. Appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all. And on that note, we out. Ain't no chance what I mean. You too, Tinky.